Ladies and gentlemen, Primetime CP23 here, back with another starter video, for, starter build guide thing for the beginning of uh, Season 11 for Diablo 3. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the wizard. Um, as I've been trying to do, I just don't really have anything beneficial in the cube. Uh, Servant Sparker, I don't I'm not using Hydra in this build. We're going to be doing a Greater Rift, so Gold Skin doesn't matter, and I'm actually wearing a Ring of Royal Grandeur, so having it in the cube means nothing. Um, I have just a random crafted weapon um, that I crafted at the blacksmith, uh, only using three pieces of the Taurasha's set. Um, you could wear a fourth and not use Ring of Royal Grandeur. Doesn't really matter. Um, just to fill in pieces, I'm using uh, one piece of Veers and one piece of Firebird, just because why not? I just needed something to fill in the space. Uh, I've got a Convention of Elements with a Zay's Stone of Vengeance, uh, a Gogok at rank 50, which doesn't really matter that much, and a Bane of the Trap to level 25. Uh, Ancient Parthon Defenders, because that's going to be pretty mandatory for any higher level wizard play anyway, so I figured I may as well include it in the starter guide since that's going to be one of the first things that you use your blood shards on. Um, for this particular build, I'm using the Triumvirate Source um, to make my signature spells increase the damage of my next Arcane Orb by up to 200% for six seconds, stacking up to three times. So this is technically an Archon build, I suppose, because I am using Archon uh, with the one that allows me to use Teleport. But that's not really the important part. Um, so we're using Shock Pulse with the Firebolts rune just because, mostly because it looks cool and I needed a generator. Um, that's what it looks like, it just looks kinda cool. Does plenty of damage for this. Um, and then Disintegrate with Intensify, I don't actually ever use Disintegrate, but you know, it's not a bad thing to have. Archon Form with Teleport, like I said. I'm using Teleport with the Wormhole Rune. Uh, Arcane Orb with Obliteration. Um, basically, it attacks faster than the mo normal Arcane Orb, and it deals more damage to enemies in a smaller area. Magic wep Weapon with Deflection. We're using the Prodigy passive, so that when you cast a signature spell, you're gaining Arcane Power. Evocation to reduce our cooldowns. Uh, elemental Exposure, which is pretty much a very mild version of the six-piece of the Taurasha's set. Um, but in a passive. And then a Unstable Anom... Unstable Anomaly. I wish I could talk. And someone's car alarm is going off. My car doesn't have an alarm, though, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and my girlfriend's car is in the garage, so it doesn't matter. Um, Unstable Anomaly, just for the cheat, passive, cheat death passive. Um, I think that's pretty much all we need to go over. Uh, I'm using the Shame of Delseray, uh, just so my signature spells attack faster and restore more arcane power. Depth Diggers, just because, why not? and uh, Eliorix Crown, a pretty poorly rolled one. Um, this is actually rolled for strength, and I don't really think it matters, so I'm not going to swap over to Intelligence. Uh, as always, we're using marquee level gems, and not very much for passives, or for Paragon, rather. Um, for this, I would recommend uh, either cooldown or attack speed first. And then resist all, life armor, life regen, area damage, 
uh, life per hit and then resource cost reduction. And let's show you how the build works. I really wish someone would go turn off that car alarm. Just saying. Okay, that was embarrassing. Think here in a second, I'm actually going to pop Archon just to be able to teleport around a little bit. So like I said, we actually do just as much damage with our Arcane Orb as we do with uh, Archon form. Okay, seriously, whoever's car line that is, could you go turn it off? Oh, almost died. That's why we're using the cheat death. Come on. But yeah, it's not uh, it's not too terribly complicated. And personally, that's why I kind of like it, just because it's very simple to the point. Um, you just use your uh, generator until you can. Uh, spam some arcane orbs, at uh, which time you spam arcane orb, you teleport around, pop an archon every now and then just for the fun of it. Again, this is not really an ar a uh, Archon build, you know, technically it does use Archon. Really, it uses Archon just as much for the ch uh, just as much for the teleports as it does actually for the damage. So. So, yeah. But, yeah. As always with these starter builds, uh, I mean, they're extremely flexible. It kind of just depends on what role, what uh, what you just happen to get as to what you're actually going to use. You know, obviously, if you get, uh, if you get like a Swami, 
or something, go ahead and just start building into Lightning Wiz Wizard rather than even messing with the uh, rather than even messing with this kind of build because this is not going to be end game efficient. And, and I'm the first one to admit that. This is not a particularly optimized build. But you know what? It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a starter build. It's supposed to simulate kind of early season randomness. Um, and kind of give you a idea of what just randomness you might get at the beginning of a season. Okay, this should be the end of the rift, because we've got some density here. Car alarm is still going off, by the way. Hopefully it's not turning off every viewer I have here. Rift Guardian fight was pretty boring, but not bad at all. So that was a 6 minute 42 second clear of a GR20. So not bad at all. I mean, Definitely not perfect, definitely not optimized, but not bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is Primetime CP23. If you, yes you, the viewer, if you would like to have a say on what class I should cover next with, with the next... Uh, with the next season starter build uh, please make sure to leave a comment down in the description or a comment down in the comments section rather and I'll see what I can do so ladies and gentlemen until next time this is primetime CP23 and I'm out